Hi everyone, this is Brian from Chef Tech Productions and we are a TV production company that specializes in live sports broadcast in central Illinois. And we're also an authorized reseller for Blackmagic Design and we're very excited about their new product line called the ATEM Video Switchers. There are three different models currently available and we have one of those here that we just received as a demo unit and we'd like to show that off to you today. Like I mentioned, there are currently three models available in the ATEM switcher line. The smallest model is the Studio, which is a one rack unit device with fewer inputs. They also have the 2ME switcher, which has 16 inputs, which will be available in a couple months. But like I mentioned, this is the 1ME unit. We just received our demo unit here, and we wanted to show it off to you today, show you the inputs, the outputs, and how everything works together. So it's very lightweight. This is the entire video switcher right here in this two rack unit device. Um, you know, you got a power cord, but other than that, this is pretty much the video switcher. So I'll go ahead and flip it over here for you. Uh, make sure you can read everything. Um, this is the back of the unit. There's a very large heat sink on it to dissipate all the heat um, from, the de from the device out and upward. Um, so that, this does get pretty warm, but it's designed to do that. There are several areas on the back of the switcher we're going to focus on. Over here you have your accessories and power. This section would be your outputs, and this section over here is going to be all of your inputs. Let's go ahead and start over here on the input section. Let's go over the inputs on the one ME switcher from Blackmagic Design. Overall there are nine actual inputs, even though eight can only be used at once. You have four HDMI inputs, so you have HDMI 1, 2, 3, 4. You also have four HD, SD, SDI inputs. So this is SDI 5, 6, 7, 8. Over here you also have component inputs. You also have a reference in for your time code or sync. Now let's go over the output section on the 1ME switcher. This section right here has three aux outputs, aux 1, aux 2, aux 3, and these are all SDI. AUX1 can also be output to a computer using USB 3.0. So AUX1 can do SDI and or USB 3.0. Right here you have Preview SDI, Multiviewer SDI, Component Output, Program SDI, Program Standard Definition SDI, and Program Composite. You have two HDMI outputs for Program and the Multiviewer. So program can be output in several different formats, HDMI, component, composite, and SDI. Your multiviewer can be output in HDMI or SDI. The last section on the back of the switcher includes the power input from the included 12 volt power supply, an audio breakout connector, which we'll show you next, a serial connector for future use, and also the switcher control. This Ethernet connection can be connected directly to a computer to use the software control panel, or it can be connected directly to a hardware panel from Blackmagic Design if you use the hardware option. And it can also be connected to a network if you have several devices connected together, which we will get into a little bit later. Before we hook everything else up to the switcher, we wanted to show you the audio breakout cable. It's a standard 15-pin connector that connects to the audio output on the back of the switcher. There are six XLR connectors that break out from this cable. You have time code in and out. You also have audio in both left and right channels, so two channels of audio input, and you have audio output left and right. So once again, two time code in and out, audio left and right in, and audio left and right out. We now have the ATEM 1ME production switcher rack mounted and hooked up to our multi-view monitor. Let's take a look at the multi-view monitor that we currently have hooked up to the HDMI output on the 1ME switcher. Uh, top left here we have the preview monitor, which also has your safe title area for 4x3 and 16x9. On the right, your program monitor. You have eight individual monitors here. Currently we have them set up as camera 1, camera 2, media player 1, media player 2, our CG fill, CG key, which we'll get to in a second, color bars, and black. Within the software control panel, it's as simple as clicking a button to change the layout of your multi-viewer. You have four options. Here's the first one. The second one puts the preview and program monitors on the bottom and puts the individual monitors on the top. The third one puts preview and program on the left. And the fourth option puts preview and program on the right. Let's go back to the standard one. Within the software control panel, you can also change what goes into each individual monitor. Let's go ahead and change the seventh monitor, this one right here. Let's change it from color bars to black. Let's change the black monitor from black 
to color bars. You can do the same thing to rearrange your camera numbers within those eight individual monitors or put different sources into those monitors. Let's take a look at the different sections in the software control panel. In the top left here we have your program row which is in red, your different sources all available right here, your preview row which is green, you have four different keyers available, key 1, 2, 3, and 4. Down here you have your mix or transition area, you have your options to mix or dissolve, dip, wipe, DVE, and sting which we'll all get into a little bit later. In this section here you have your downstream keys or DSK, you have DSK1 and DSK2. And in the very right of the screen you have a bunch of different options for settings for media players, color generators, and how to configure all of your different keys. Let's go ahead and do some switching on our software control panel. Using a touch screen, if I touch black, black will go on to program. Camera 1. And down on preview I can do the same thing. Camera 1, camera 2. Colors, media players, bars, the ATEM 1ME production switcher has four keyers. We've already assigned key 1. I'll bring it on program there as our lower third. Let's remove it. Key 2 we've assigned as our live bug. It's on program. Key 3 I just set up as a Luma key from our Chiron. So its fill source is coming from the Chiron fill channel. And the key source is coming from the Chiron key channel. The ATEM 1ME production switcher has four keyers. We're currently using key 1 and 2 for our lower third and live bug, both coming from the internal storage on the 1ME production switcher. In the software control panel, we've set up key 3 to bring in the key and fill from our Chiron. Let's go ahead and set key 3 in the preview monitor here, so now you can see our graphic from our Chiron in the preview monitor. Let's go ahead and dissolve that in. So right now we have our live background, which for this demonstration is an orange background, plus key 3 on the screen, which is our graphics from our Chiron. Let's go ahead and add another layer of video to this and fade in our key 1, which is the lower third, as you can see in preview right now, and dissolve it into program. And then we need one more source on here just because we want to get fancy. Let's go ahead and dissolve in our live bug. So right now we have video as our background, that's one source. We have our key 1, which is our lower third, key 2, the live bug, and key 3, which is live output from our Chiron. The nice thing about using the 1ME production switcher with an external graphics program like Chiron is that you can update your graphics in real time. So check out our halftime stats graphic there. I'm going to go ahead and start typing in the Chiron, which is exporting live HD SDI video into the switcher. So there the font is horrible, but this is just for demonstration. You've got Team 1, which is actually live text, me typing on the keyboard right now. So your graphics operator using a Chiron or similar device can be outputting live HD SDI video into your switcher, also keyed on the screen with other graphics or other elements for your live productions. The last feature we're going to show you today is the option to use stingers or animated transitions that you can use built into the production switcher. I've set Media Player 2 as our transition source, which is currently loaded with an animated PNG sequence for the transition. I'll hit Enter on the keyboard, which will activate the transition, switching us from our orange background to color bars, as you'll see here in Transition. In addition to transitioning just the background, you can transition to a different background with different key sources. So right now I'm going to switch from color bars and we'll animate over to our orange background with key 1 and key 3, bringing in both the lower third and our live graphics from our Chiron. This time I'm going to go back to our color bars, losing the lower third but keeping our Chiron graphics. That's all we have time to show you today with the Blackmagic Design ATEM 1 ME Production Switcher. If you have any questions, please feel free to contact us. We are with Chef Tech Productions, and we're an authorized reseller for Blackmagic Design. We look forward to answering your questions about the switcher and setting your organization up with a switcher of your own. Feel free to contact us at 309-524-5865 or email brian at cheftech.com.